Little Egypt condo in New York City. This is an ironic piece. It has a lot to do with those wonderful Art Deco tenements that are found within New York City. It's ironic because today you find that these tenements are being uh, recycled and reclaimed for the urban rich. Most of my work relates to the ancient world as well as the contemporary. And the colors that I use also relate to uh, colors that were used in the ancient temples of Egypt and Ethiopia. This is an Egyptian blue color. Gold relates to our African heritage. When I think about the Gold Coast and the Ashanti people who even wove gold within their marvelous textiles. What I've done with this piece actually is to bring back the ancient Egyptians which are seen in contemporary poses to reclaim this Art Deco tenement. The gestures of the inhabitants of this, uh, this tenement are seen in classical black poems. We see two uh, men at the top of the uh, uh, tenement who are slapping palms as if to greet each other. The woman in white at the entrance of this tenement gazes upward at the Sphinx. The Sphinx is a symbol of Renaissance as well as resurrection and once again calls us to come back into our own black magical sense. Hieroglyphic writing, the ancient writing of, of the Egyptians are seen on the tenement walls. The graffiti uh, writing to me uh, relates heavily to the ancient uh, hieroglyphic writing. It too is a form of picture symbolism. At the entrance of the tenement, we see two figures with thumb in mouth. This recalls innocence or youth, beginnings, birth. In the background, you, will, you see the figure or the mask of Bacchus. This is actually taken from a, a New Orleans uh, uh, festival that's held every year during Mardi Gras. He really reflects the sinister presence which is always with us. Again, what I'm saying in, in, in this piece is that we must continue to recolor our environment with our own sense of spirituality. We have to reclaim these tenements, even in decay, and realize that death is but graduation to a new life.